what's your worst experience in life? <laughs> Hi guys, so my name is Nana Blaze and here with me we have Let's see. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of chit chat about some experiences and why doing that you're going to be getting ready with us So guys, we already did a little we already prepping did, yeah, of our the camera so. We use the Dr. Rachel face set for our skin prep and let's talk about body modification yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just gonna scrape on the little bit out of it. So I'll be using the classic foundation. This is my color. I don't know the colors are. This is zero two five mocha. Yeah. So what's your worst experience in life? <laughs> <laughs> the worst experience. Ah. Apart from living without a mother, I think I don't really have any kind of worst experience. My worst experience was while I was in high school. So, you know, then we are all fascinated about this school father stuff and blah blah blah. <laughs> so, I got plagiarized enough to have a school father, and this day called Valentine's Day in secondary school. We do exchange of gifts. So on Valentine's Day, I was waiting for my school father to come and give me his own gift. And unfortunately <laughs> enough, he did not come. And everyone, everyone like in the class, their bags were filled up with gifts. My bag was literally empty. Even after doing the NGS and motor, the person that pitched my name, they don't give me gifts. That's not the composition of the whole story here, right? So on my way going home, I now saw him. His name is Simon Dana. So I, I saw him and I was like, Simi Damien, good afternoon. Have you ever experienced someone snub you before? <laughs> <laughs> I was smiling like a fool and he was just looking at me like, what is Are you sure phone? he's your school father? That's the question I asked myself. <laughs> On my way coming back, after seeing my friends off because my house was close by, I now saw him. He was now like, sorry, I was up with something in my head that's why i didn't answer you god you're standing with your seven friends and you didn't answer seven me. you didn't answer me like i was practically publicly embarrassed and, you didn't answer me. and to be honest that was the last time because that was the first and last school father i've ever had in my history and i went to a boarding school but then <laughs> I think all these things are normal since I was supposed to suffer work. So I don't really have a specific memory that will say it's my worst experience. So, best advice you can give? I would say just be yourself, work hard. There's no such thing as your dream being too big. There's nothing you cannot achieve, actually. Just what it's your dreams are not big enough. You snooze, you lose. Big. If your dreams doesn't scare you, then you're not dreaming big enough. I love that post. Um, what's your worst advice? I think my best life advice I'm going to give is just, you know, you do who God first can give you anything in life other than God. If it's Jesus Christ, you're serving. If it's Allah, Whichever God is serving, I'm serving the one and only God, Jesus Christ. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, yeah, I'm serving the one and uh, only God. What's one thing you can't do without in life and why? Yes, God. Without God, I don't think anything works. Nah. <clears throat> in case you ask any girl that question, she tells you, baby, you know I cannot live without you. Run, <laughs> <laughs> she's just deceiving you. What's your best relationship advice? Mm. Even though I know I don't always do that, <clears throat> but I think you should be able to always communicate your feelings. Instead of jumping into conclusions, yeah. you know, saves a lot of school. Just saves a lot. Just communicate. Communicate. So we don't like some of the cultures in the relationship. At least fine. Yeah. 
I think love is essential. Love is vital. Mm -hmm. It should be love. Even though love is not enough, it should, it should be also love to the fullest. Trust. Is there even a relationship without trust? Yeah, sometimes. So people are just there. They just follow each other, right? Yeah. To be able to trust, to respect your partner. Uh, what else? To be able to sacrifice for each other. I think I'm still fighting. I'm loving the angles and the lifting and talking above every other. And you should be accountable, like hold responsibility when you're wrong and apologize instead of trying to claim a point that is not even there in the first place. That's very mm -hmm. vital. Then you should be vulnerable because vulnerability could be mistaken as stupidity. But yeah. That's why they can say someone doesn't love is stupid. Because if you're not vulnerable, the longevity of your relationship is not going to be up to six months. Trust me. And vulnerability, in a sense, like... Don't trust them. It's not really it's not from... Not relationship. <laughs> That we summer see, you know, even in the Bible, it's written that men are going to be the head. Why would be the assistant, not the tail? If you that, so yeah, you should think about be submissive. Then you should be loyal as a girl. I don't know why you're cheating on the first place when you have everything in life. What are you cheating? Uh, you should be loyal as well. And always, <coughs> always giving you all because whenever you want to leave, you have enough reasons to. Like you won't tell yourself, like I gave in my bed, but it wasn't destined to be. That's why I'm leaving stuff like that. With that. So I'm just gonna use this side I use in blending my foundation to, like cover up the different sides and like blend it all out. Well, you just have to be careful with this one. Don't touch. So you guys need to carry this. And put the contour under my chin. I did not draw the straight line on my nose. I just did it straight on the bridge. So I'm just going to take a darker shade of concealer and use as my contour. So I'm going to little... Um, Annie. What's her name? She always does this tiger lifting, and the first time I tried it out, I did that. Uche Notori, yeah, Uche Notori, yeah, that's her name. Sorry mm -hmm. for the whatever part. We are here of crabs, so just. Melena, actually. I can't I'm putting this white powder. Hey guys, so this is the final look with beauty of camera. Hope you all enjoyed the chit chat. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing was spilled, but hope you like it. The look is what it is. What to make the duration of the video short, right? So don't forget to. You want to stop with it? Did you want to do it? This is not my final. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment below if you need a full makeup blend tutorial. Yeah. Okay.